Right, so the next real life example is about data analysis for predictive marketing analytics. And that is basically exactly what Amazon is doing with your data. They are creating a really a huge customer profile list and uh, from that they will predict whether you are going to purchase item A or you are more willing to purchase item B or item C or item D. So they like the build your customer profile using all of the data that uh, they have gathered from your sessions through their homepage, through their website. Okay, so they will see that you like shoes because you like to search shoes a lot, right? Or they like they see that you like uh, I don't know um, uh, dresses because you tend to search for dresses or like. I don't know, like uh, kids toys, so they might expect that you've got a kid or that you're a kid yourself. So, um, so that's basically what they do. They build this huge customer profile with your name, uh, you know, surname, email address. They predict whether you are a male or female. They will predict your age, uh, gender, stuff, and so forth. And then all the interests, okay. And then they have the behavior. Behavior. So he has recently recently purchased this. He has re recently viewed this. This is in his, you know, is in his. Uh, um, in his gifts uh, list, you know, in his uh, favorites, and that they will have this huge customer um, profile list, and from that they will build predictive marketing analysis. Okay, and that's what they will do essentially. They will create uh, custom-made pages just for you. You know what you see in uh, uh, in this is when you see in this suggested products, you only seeing this yourself because really they're building it for you only okay it's really all personalized and this trend is really incredible they are able to make so much money out of it because really like think about it if you if you are really really uh, attracted to i don't know towards uh, football footballs you know uh, you know like soccer balls and you know if you purchase one then you were mu you're much willing to you're much more willing to purchase another one. They will show you another brand, another, you know, and different color, different size. I'm just making this up, you know, but that's an example. If you're like a really big fanatic about fishing, you know, they will, once you purchase your first item, they will say, hey, here's another list of items you might be per interested in purchasing. So uh, again, there's a ton of things that Amazon is really good at. Uh, because by doing so, by doing so, they will increase your average card value or their or average order value, and basically through all of these upsellings, they will make so many more profits, so much more revenue, so much more profits. So in this case, as you see, they will say customers who viewed this item have also viewed these products, and then sometimes they will say, well, you know. Customers who view this item also purchase the product, this product. So it's also about social proof and creating this hype that will turn you into a buyer. And also about some, uh, and also some foremost, which is fear of missing out. And uh, really, they will try to 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 do this psychological psychologically uh, yeah tricks that will uh, uh, ultimately result in a sale. Hopefully for them. And uh, you know they could be. That could be really, really valuable for some people because if you think about it, if you're actively searching for something, perhaps is like a skin skincare solution, you know, perhaps you will need something else for your specific solution, um, and it, Amazon will happily show you uh, related products so that they can sell it to you, so that you can solve your problem and they can make more money. So having said that, I hope this is clear. AI, artificial intelligence, is really key to in this. In this in this regard for Amazon and many other companies such as Netflix and Spotify as we will see in the next lecture so having said that see you soon in the next lecture